Gotta love the music, folks. Gotta love the music. God, this expansion was so good. And so bad in so many ways. How's it going, everyone? And we still got cues. Hello, how are we doing? Well, at least you're not coming back from hospital, so there is that. Apologies for not being here yesterday. I was rushed off to hospital last night. Um, I'm okay. I'm doing well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be streaming right now. So all good, but that's why I wasn't around yesterday or said anything. All right. Now, where is this collab? I want to say it's in Uldar. I want to say St. Uldar. Oh yeah, I'm feeling I'm definitely feeling better. Um it was just my uh insulin. It just I've been moaning about it for a few weeks now it just wasn't sitting well with me and well yesterday finally uh didn't agree with me at all so they've given me a different brand which seems to be working better a land on fire here we go boys here we go collaboration time the neophyte adventurer seeks the warrior of light Forgive my boldness, but are you? But you are Chaos Prime Zero, are you not? Are you Chaos Prime Zero? Hmm. I'll say yes. But th then my search is at an end. A begoggled gentleman tasked me to find you and see in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not share with me. Pray remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. Where is... Is the audio okay for you guys? I mean, the audio seems... really low at the moment. Let me see if I can... Bump up the audio a little bit. Maybe it's just because the sound was off entirely. Pray listen well, for my tale begins. Oops. Sharply and suddenly, the Scarlet Star shifted. Okay, let's reduce this. Its trajectory, the high above a burning landscape, did its path intersect with that of the white star, their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. That's the game producer, by the way. But what does it mean?
You still barely hear the game audio? Is that better? A lovely tale, but I fail to see what it has to do with me. But what does it mean? You can only hear me? That's impossible. I can see the PC audio going up and down. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. I'll have to wait until I'm out of the game to try and increase the audio well out of the cutscene the question is which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning metaphorically or otherwise if it's uh, chamber the bell of embers While its relation to flame cannot be denied, my instincts tell me nay. The scene from my dream was more ridged than bowl, a giant flickering outcrop of crystal mayhap, of course. I mean, I'm getting roughly about 30... F minus 30 decibels, which is still quite high. Place rich in corrupted crystal deposits. These crystals would have to be immense in size, akin to those which comprise the burning wall. Aye, that sight well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Fenelan and the famous, infamous burning wall at once. Let's go. Are you guys still not hearing it? Well, I've just bumped it up a little bit more, just anyway. Oh, no, 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 no. There you are, to explain why we're here. Oh, but I haven't even asked your name. 
How am I supposed to credit you if I don't even know it that much? Chaos Prime Zero. The Chaos Prime Zero, the champion of Eorzea. Small wonder I felt you were dependable. With one such as you helping me, everything was sure to go well. But getting back to business, the interview I've arranged is with an officer of the Immortal Flames. As there's still time, however, I thought we'd pay a visit to the nearby graveyard first so I could explain my motivation for the biography. It seems like a different quest. I think I clicked on a different quest. I come from a small village near the Cartano Flats. It was burned down in the calamity and those who died were laid to rest here. My parents among them. It's hardly an uncommon tale. After the dread primal emerged from Dalamud, he unleashed a fiery devastation across the length and breadth of Eorzea. But as much as the calamity has scarred the realm, it is quickly becoming just another event in the history books. Beyond occasionally giving thanks to the Archons that Eorzea was saved, people spare it little thought. But when you've lost so many loved ones, it's hard to feel that anything will save. That's why I wish to know more about Louis Soir, by learning about his part in the Eorzea salvation. I hope that I will attain closure. That's my motivation for writing the biography. Now then, in preparation for the interview, let's review what is known about our subject. It's difficult to define exactly when the Seventh Umbral Calamity was set in motion. Many historians, however, point to the Empire's Meteor Project, which sought to bring Dalamud down upon the Eorzea. It was the year 1562 of the Sixth Astral Era. Seeking to combat the Imperial threat, Louis Soir founded the Circle of Knowing an order whose objective was to the preservation of Eorzea. God, this sense, this has a lot of memories. Through its members, the Archons of Charlien, the Circle worked to unite the nations of Eorzea in common cause. The result was the formation of the Grand Companies in the three city-states, the Immortal Flames, the Order of the Twin Edda, and Maelstrom. None of these would exist now, were it not for their efforts. And then, in the year 1572, when the situation was coming to a head, Louis Soir made the journey to Eorzea in secret and engaged with each of the nations. What took place during that time is what I seek to learn in the interview. The man we're due to meet is the contact for the Free Brigade, a unit formed of adventurers, and he apparently had Louis Soir's assistance for a mission. The meeting place is Highbridge to the northeast. It's more or less time now, so let's make our way there. Uh, what is what is Nanaji? It's just a NPC name. But that definitely wasn't where I was supposed the quest I was supposed to do. I need to go there, but I'm guessing that's Highbridge. Hey? That's the main scenario. Ah, remembering the past. Okay, that's what that quest is. Oh, what is Nanaji? Yeah, there. He's writing a biography to learn about the past.
So let me see if I can bring something up real quick. So this, when the 1.0 servers closed, this is the video that played straight after. And it basically set the tone for what happens. So when the game first came out, you had Final Fantasy XIV 1.0. Hey, that boy, how's it going? Uh, and you did a whole bunch of stuff there and played through. And then, if you watch that video, certain events transpire, and you get brought into the present of where we're in now. And in doing so, Idolin basically erased everyone's memory of you. You don't exist. You never existed in this world. She erased it so um, people wouldn't recognize you for the feats that you, you accomplished. There's a reason behind that, a story, law reason behind it, so I'm not going to go into it. But if you did play it, the original, which is, I mean, this was a really nice touch because. Uh, certain cutscenes they actually recorded twice so for those people that actually did play the original 1.0 version got to the end as the story progresses certain characters start to recognize who you are and the dialogue changes and the cutscenes change by nuance it still gets to the end result but you know they, they kind of picture your silhouette but because your face has been completely erased, they can't make out who you are. But a couple of them eventually work out who you are. For those that just start in 2.0, they don't get that dialogue because there's no backstory. And even some of the side quests that you're doing, you eventually come up to some where they say, it's like I've known you, I recognize you, but I just can't put my finger on it. You know who they are because you've met them before. But they don't recognize you because the goddess erased you from all their memory. That kind of little touches is so awesome. It's just like a way of saying to those that actually played it, your time wasn't in vain. And here's our little way of giving back to you. I mean, originally you couldn't even uh, fly in these areas. This is all new. The Burning Wall. An apt name indeed. It is said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the lands a feral current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life, but that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spy glasses at the ready. That's actually Yoshi P, by the way. Survey your surroundings for anything out of the ordinary. You may move the... Move the
What am I looking for? Survey the burning hall with an ion. Anything out of place. out of place. My dude, I didn't even see that. Hey, that's Clive. Uh, next expansion is getting a big graphics update. This hasn't really changed since the... Since for 10 years now. How's it going, that boy? Ah, they even got the Final Fantasy XIV music. Uh, 16 music. understand how absurd that may sound we ourselves were unsure of what would of what awaited us here as for who we are i am content to be known as the minstrel this stalwart he hero is chaosman zero might we have the pleasure of your name clive i the last thing i remember was in the room was the ruins would seem you are not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a frontist frontistry physician look over you, look you over. I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Our founding is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it's also not that a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. That's a lot of people you've watched for 14. <laughs> Welcome, Inori. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The physica also noted no signs of injury or illness. Yet my memories remain hazy. 
how did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important, I'm sure of it. I must return so as soon as possible. Would it be nice if they voiced these lines? I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Aldar strike you as familiar? The hell no. Well, maybe they'll make you. situated midway betwixt Aldar and Bredania. Perhaps the trip to the Twelfth Wood is in order? Bredania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you will take me there? What about that? This entire situation has me knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Chaos Prime, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. You can set out whenever you're ready. This Gradania the minstrel mentioned, is it far? Will we need mounts? Nah mate, I'm teleporting. By airship? You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Chaos Prime, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? Foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. Is there no airship travel where you're from? I don't think I've gotten that far in the game. All I know is that we have boats there. So we'll see. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Still think Ben Starr should have voiced him. I feel like they gipped out on that one.
What, Clive? Clive is this guy here. This is the main protagonist from Final Fantasy 16. The minstrel, on the other hand, is based on Yoshi P. Yes, Naoki Yoshida. But this guy here, he's the main dude from Final Fantasy 16. It's a collaboration event. To feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but there was an that was an experience I'm sure I did not soon forget. Yeah, the Wandering Minstrel, that was Yoshi P. But this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Clive is now accompanying you, keep him at your side in order to proceed with the quest objectives. This tavern, it reminds me of somewhere I've been before. Chocobo? Now that's something I recognize. Yet, it's more than that. I had my own Chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But as for the when or the where... An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely? No, not nearly large enough. When I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. See the difference in quality between the characters, between my main character and Clive? You've taken a liking to Gridania then. I do like what I've seen of it. It seems a peaceful life here among the trees, only I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful, and that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting. Commander, all is quiet with the exile. No sightings of Garuda. Hey, Chili. For which we are profoundly grateful, a tea soldier. Garuda you speak of? Is it a dominant? Uh, are you alright? Uh, whose name? Chaos Prime, do you know this gentleman?
memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her. I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything you might help me remember my past. Of course, Gridania owes a debt of gratitude to any who've stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder Sia, Sia is well versed not only in primal law, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Still Glade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guest to the to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray find me at Nofika's altar in Old Gridenia, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. A uh, golden koi task. That's the fish, right? Brick. If it's the fish, uh, there's a challenge that you need to do that gives you a videotape. You need to go to your apartment and watch that video like eight or nine times. Should be maybe five or six, but you'll get the message that talks about a strange person that's standing there. And if you go there, uh, he'll them he'll be there, so you can give him the fish. But you do need to watch the video like six to nine times. You don't actually see anything; it's just text that appears. But you just got to keep on doing it until it gives you a different message. You'll know it's the right one when it tells you to go back there to meet the sea monger, fishmonger. Doesn't mean he didn't work on more because it's great Enix always doesn't always credit people. Uh Naoki, because uh, Naoki pretty much sacrificed his luck career to recover Final Fantasy fourteen. Well Yoshitika Amano is the artist, right? How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Chili. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Greetings, honored guest. Uh, he's in charge of Fun Fancy Eleven now, yeah. Huloy has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. A pleasure to meet you. I am Kanesena, Elder Seed Seer of Britannia. I thank you for your gracious welcome. That's good, Chili. I am Clive, though beyond that I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please, concern yourself not with proprieties. It is your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakens some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. Easily granted. Garuda is a deity revered by the exile, the people who 
once dwelled here in the twelfth wood. He appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Kills Prime has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. A winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind, a fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity, no. The will behind that monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one and the same. Hey, Yoshi's back. Yoshi. Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, Minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned a folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for moms around improbable to say the least oh, i wonder why they left him branded that led me to consider another possibility one consistent with past accounts i have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star to remember I feel the memory is trying to surface but when I strain to recall a piercing ringing fills my ears Garuda bearer freaked another primal's name which would seem the pain has a less than tangible source Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. I really don't like this change that they did, where they make everything on a timer. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Yeah, you need to watch it five, six times, dude. You're, you're looking at the wrong guy. He's at the beach. He's not on... You're, you're speaking to the guy at the top on the railing. This guy is a topless guy uh, at the bottom of the beach. That appears there wearing shorts. Can't miss him. But you do need to watch uh, the video five or six times. Maybe seven times. You keep watching it until he, it gives you a different... Uh, response and that response will uh, tell you where he is and where to find him so you think me from another world 
and my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. It is a confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given thought to such a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Kelsbray. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I seek is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at the Califorks. Do you have the fish already? The golden koi. Fish. You have to fish it. Once you fish it, you can give him an item and you have to give him the golden fish. Maybe you haven't fished the fish yet? Ooh! The minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. Where, where to meet him at Abkada Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Good, not far then. Let's get on with it. Chili, there should have been voice acting in this game. Wait, where, the, where the hell was Abkada Falls? Why was I thinking of the Abkhaz kind of Force? I mean, they they could have paid a little money to Ben. Ben could have come in and just done the voice acting, given Yoshi P a bit of voice acting too. It's a collaboration after all, right? Why he's called that? That's his name. Naoki Yoshida. In Japan, his name is short for Yoshi P. Nothing else to it, really. Of course, we'd come to the summoning area. This place, why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Soir gathered a band of adventurers in the name, in the time of the seventh umbral calamity. Their purpose to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Now you've got me saying Ifrit. Ifrit? I know something is there. I just... Why can't I remember? Clive recalled several words in the elder Seatier's presence. Words which brought him pain. But the significance of bearer eludes me. You and I are more than familiar with Ifrit.
considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that the primal or its equivalent in your world is deeply connected to your condition. God, the music is amazing! Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, the Archon Louis Swan paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance, and within the vision which takes from the will, you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. By the way, Chili, did you hit? Chili, did you hear? Final Fantasy XIV players who played this part here started crying how this was a spoiler. After all this time, they were saying that this was a spoiler. Alright, here we go. You stand in the bowel of embers, the site where the Amalja summoned their patron deity, the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. Tis but convincing illusion, the body of recounted tale given breadth by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. There is, in the main storyline, a lot of the main storyline is voiced. Accurate fast simile, yet not quite the Ifrit humor. No, not quite the same. I kind of wish more of it was voiced, Richard. I do. But uh, I'm guessing there's a cost factor to it, or adding like all the side quests. But I do feel like these kind of collaboration events should be voiced. I get the side quests not being voiced, but main quests, uh, maybe the important chain quests, and. Uh, collaboration events like these should be voiced. I mean, I'd actually prefer if everything was voiced because, in my opinion, we should be at that point now in, you know, in games, especially for MMOs. People don't like to read. Leave my emo caveman alone.
Alright, time to find out who I am. I agree, Chili. Trial quests, stuff like that should all be voiced. <coughs> Flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. With the proper timing, you can use dodge to avoid taking damage, and even if you certain enemy attacks will be received by the enemies when countdown icon. When this countdown progresses. Dodge icon quickly use the dodge. After executing a successful dodge, the dodge action will change to precision strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. Damn it. 
move it?
great to have one to spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose. Oh god, that is fast. I've got it the lowest, but I accept the truth of it now. You are not different. I am. Bet you wish you could do that. Ain't ain't it worrying of like? I bet you wish you could turn into a primal on the whim. In a battle against your own mind, it would seem you have emerged, Victor. Intriguing. Togo! Have a good one, Happy Cloud Gamer. What tutorial was there in the fight? I don't think there was any. Outside of right at the beginning. The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. in the lingering ether. Toggle is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his harrowing past and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Hey Steve, how's it going? Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. My younger brother Joshua was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flame, he was destined to become Archduke as our father had before him, but Joshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer until one day I came to understand it had been me all along. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today, Steve. Thanks for asking. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me or that it could even exist at all. The transformation 
was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this has caused you. There was anguish, yes, and the guilt I will never escape. But I cannot let it stop me. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm. The tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes, you are thinking the same. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that you see, that to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Go away, Taz. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. There is... You can't have spoilers. No one can say this is spoilers. It's in the promotion art. you are for your own sanity sake. Oh, sorry. Punch the mic. Not out of aggression. What am I using now? Crap. I feel like I'm almost at the end of the quest. Far, our Tongu will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Ready, Tongu? Take me home. Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Mystery will accompany you. Tongu will then begin leading you onwards. Follow Tongu to his destination and try not to fall behind.
run, Toggle, run. Just saying, I could have got there by now, flying. The ladder? Sit boy. The tail ends where it began. Where you first found me? as to why a dis of all places would serve as a junction between our two worlds, but now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, Eorzeum was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. T'was as if the star was reborn. Hence, a realm reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity claiming that the undying phoenix flared into the being to save us in our hour of direst need. The scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, friend. No matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. of what fate awaits at journey's end. Not another ballad, but nay, it would be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt.
that honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. Is he just telling us to go play Final Fantasy 16? I think he's telling us to go play Final Fantasy 16. I mean, that's what it sounds like. I was, I was blatantly just saying, go play Final Fantasy 16. Take it easy, Steve. Little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic, I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. Toggle proved such a trustworthy guide that I saw thought to bind his likeness to a summoning vessel. Special items by speaking with the golden saucer attendant. Oh, Oh, is it only Warrior of Light? No, it's all classes, so why can't I equip it? There's no job assigned to it. Did I just see that correctly? I thought you could actually transfer stuff to your armoire immediately. That is not the case.
Hey, come on, that would be cool, right? What is this news that they're saying? Look, why are you on favorites? taking off I guess you can go by that Fly Togo Fly Totally worth it. Uh, why does it want me to speak to Clive? Why does it still say Clive is here? Actually, pet him. Why is the controller just connecting all of a sudden again? Nice. Wait, how can you pet? Missing something here? Me, I'm max level. Chili, is this a bug or is it just me? So they're disconnecting.
it just kind of just stops. What's wrong with the controller? We seek to open a void gate in Man Tower that we might gain direct passage to the moon on the 13th. Whilst our comrades labour upon the moon, we must needs accomplish two tasks. The first is the procurement of a substantial quantity of ether and substantial delivery of the moon to the tower of Babel. The said structure was once used to siphon the land's essence by way of the teleport spines. Such a method, however, doth pose an unacceptable risk to the greater behavior of man's of our world. Thus must we seek an alternate means of conveying our limited resource. Our second task doth pertain to the use of the Tower of Babel itself. You may recall this is brought to the moon was placed on the supervision of the Israel Mystical Contingent. If we would employ it to the different ends, we must first obtain the express motion. I should like to believe they will not refuse us, so perhaps we should concern ourselves with the haven problem first. Have you any idea whether we might have sourced the last quantity needed? Aye, I like the location that have come to mind. Let us make it for the airship landing. There I shall remember. Yeah, I'm going to head to the Golden Saucer in just a bit. I was hoping I have enough MGP. This is really annoying. Why is it constantly cutting out? and accounted for? Excellent. We shall travel to Charlotte and thence seek the nearby Isle of Harm. Near unto the surface of this isle do rivers of ether converge. The churning energy of this confluence is released by way of patience. Originally the Ragnarok was to be overpowered, was to be powered by ether harvested from the isle. But as well as you know, an alternate power source was ultimately found for the vessel. Passage onto Ultima Fuel to the very limits of existence was facilitated by naught less than the strength of the Mother Crystal herself. As such, the Isle of Harm's vast ether deposits remain untouched. We may help ourselves to that energy, provided we are able to secure the Father's permission. Yet again, we are needing permission. It's nothing straightforward in this world. Such is the nature of politics, I fear. And as the signs of the Seventh Dawn have been officially disbanded, no longer are we a recognized collective, a somewhat disadvantaged position, theoretically speaking. Fortunately, however, there is a recognized and respected body upon which we might prevail. The students of this upon arriving in Charlem, let us seek our friends.
Man, the fact that I put this tune in here is so cool. Do you know what Final Fantasy this is from? Whose theme it is? matter of some urgency. In that case, you'll need to speak with Trial. She's in the main hall, sorting through our archives. There's a visitor with her at the moment, but there's no one you don't know, so feel free to show yourself soon. See, all of this should be voiced. And two of my dearest friends. Like that. <laughs> As for the other two, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Not in this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though, you are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. Pay me no mind. I merely accompany them. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. It's quite all right. We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. Erinville occasionally comes and shares the latest Gleaner gossip, you see. From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. As I may be away for an extended period, I wish to give Kryl fair warning. Hence my visit today. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? No, no, it isn't guildship business, but rather... a uh, homecoming. Dawn Trail. But enough about me. You have business too, yes? And I'm in the way. Far from it. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles with us. We seek a means to travel to the void. There, a man named Golbez plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. What level are you, Devastator? To that end, we require a great quantity of ether, which we understand may be had on the Isle of Harm. We came in the hope of exploring how it might best be procured. An invasion from the 13th? Must the stakes always be so dramatic? You have a knack for finding trouble. Understood. If cleaners collected world-ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. It's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, but as it's under the Forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. I myself haven't. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, We'll need to secure the Forum's permission.
Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations remain small, but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. We are truly grateful. If I may. According to the original plan for the Exodus, Ether, collected from the Isle of Harm, was to power the Ark. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Margaret, for instance. She's a researcher in Charlie and Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. You could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the foreign's verdict. We may well do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice, and may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. You're quite welcome. Now then, if you'll excuse me. I best start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. Let us leave matters here to Mistress Kryle and hie ourselves to Labyrinthos. Right then, time to put our best foot forward. A pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. And what have we here? Later, Kryle. Later. You've work to do. Queen, you literally could have just read that letter. I bet it's really important too. Yeah, I got 3,600. Nice. Second prize. Damn it! Ah, didn't get too bad of a hold this time. 5.4k, I'll take it. Alright, so where am I looking?
door claim for anything, I understand. Skinny, which ones is it? Where's the card? isn't here. That's two, four, six, ten. I guess this is another one. That's more than this. I think it's these ones here. But I'll wait until Chile comes back so I can confirm. Anything happen in the Golden Saucer? Any of the DLC for Callisto Protocol worth getting? I'm not sure I haven't played Callisto Protocol, honestly. continues to disconnect like this, it's going to be a problem. It hasn't done this in such a long time. delightful. If you require assistance, then ask away. It so happens you've caught me in the post in post deadline bliss. Forgive us the abruptness of our inquiry. 
but it is our understanding that Dao had charge of the Ragnarok's propulsion systems. We should like to know how ethers harvested at the Isle of Ham was to be stored and transported to the Ark. Disclosure of such information is permitted. Oh, it's no bother at all. We built special tanks that can store ether, just like we use casks to store wine. Simple, really. Simple, but quite brilliant in construction. They rivaled even crystals for aetherial capacity. A pity we never got to use them. Well, now we can. Ah, uh, how muddled and distant the memory. When Doom's deadline loomed large and we extricated ourselves from a waist high mile of work only to end up chin deep in, a, in another. It was at one of it was one with the world, a conduit for the en energies of creation. But now, now I am truly alive. Who would have thought that sleeping in a bed and eating warm meals could make such a difference? I feel positively functional. I dare say it rivals the thrill of dancing on the knife edge of failure. She's lost it. Game's <laughs> expression. <laughs> yeah, glad to be. Quite. On the subject of the eco tanks, do you know how? Do you know what became of them? did become of them. For the life of me, I can't seem to remember. Oh, but I do remember someone who might remember, who should be back by now. Just look for the fellow wearing an outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't. Very well, we shall seek out this conspicuous colleague of thine. Our sincerest gratitude, Margaret, and do look after yourself. Because you're crazy. Come, let us seek out this individual attired in a manner suggestive of recent furlough. That's going to be an annoyance in the dungeon, isn't it? It's going to be real annoying. Stop doing that. It is JP, the face that laughed at our teeny tiny toy boat, how have you been? Well, if I don't know about the Eva tanks, who in Brigitte's name were born right in the very own workshop they were. A 
pleasure as always, Master Kokol. I trust thy respite proved rejuvenating. And dance up, but I won't bore you with the details, at least not without a drink in me. So, why the interest in our little old tanks? Permit me to explain. See, even this aspect is identical to 14, I mean to 16. I see, I see. I think I've got the long and short of it. It goes without saying, but we all owe you more than we can ever repay. If you need our aid for tanks, then they're at your disposal. There's just one problem. You need the forum's approval to set foot on the Isle of Ham. Were it up to me, you'd be on the next ship out, but that lot can't wipe their asses and misses in accordance with the procedural motions. You may be assured that my backside is immaculate. Oh shit. Felix Fumpin finds uh, Master Functional uh, and uh, Skolak Montinchian. What a surprise. Pardon the intrusion. The forum has deliberated your petition and we decided to deliver our verdict directly. We, I would hope that the matter of pandemonium has not been overshadowed by our concerns. That is a discussion for another time. You have been granted special dispensation to travel to the Isle of Ham for the purpose of a ferric extraction on one condition. On account of its rich deposits of beef, the Isle is home to throngs of vicious beasts. We ask that you cull any such creatures you encounter. That's all. Given the vast amount of beef we seek, I expected a fair higher price. Oh, believe me, we do not underestimate the value of what you desire. Nay, we simply owe the students of Baldessian and their esteemed collaborators a debt of gratitude, and we felt that expediting your request was a suitable way to repay it. A debt of gratitude. We have taken the liberty of arranging your passage to the Isle of Ham. Your vessel awaits in Scholar's Harbour. To get those Aether tanks loaded onto the airship. I'll be ready to take them where you need, assuming it's safe. I shall head back to the annex, but if you, should you need anything else, don't hesitate to call. Now, Charlene is impressive. more impressive is the fact that I still haven't gone into the dungeon. Bound for the Isle of Harm. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. If you're ready to depart, then so am I. Just say the word. Is something the matter? I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Who? Raha? Or Thank you. Forgive me my delay. Thankred? It is good to see you. If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. <laughs> Urianje tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. And you must be zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Garlemol. A pleasure. Apart from strength and... Hey, Snowy. Uh, 
it. yesterday and you are one of them. Oh, the near one was amazing. At the moment they're gonna do a Final Fantasy 11 collaboration. Uh, he's not. That tank is about to die. Oh, come on, stop doing that. I'm gonna end up.
this is what dungeons are like in Final Fantasy XIV. Good for leveling and good for getting your credits. And if you haven't noticed, I'm a summoner. I'm afraid I'm in the dungeon with my real players. The Garden Mode music is so good. I do really like this game. 
from its story to its lore to its characters, they're all great. Although 6.1 to 7 has been really good. So I hope they uh, improve on that in the upcoming extension. Although that was because Yoshi was preoccupied with 16. I don't know why my controller keeps seizing up the... I've tried disconnecting it and reconnecting And it's, it's the game, I know it's to do with the game, but I don't know why it's happening.
<laughs> good, good. A fitting finale. Did not win it. No, I rolled a measly. God damn it. I want that wind up Kagnazo. I didn't know you can get a minion from this one the first time I saw it. Bound for the Isle of Harm. Yeah, the music in this is really good. You're ready to depart, and so am I. Is something the matter? I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. I do kind of wish they made us go to the first every so often. Forgive me my delay. Tancred? Tis good to see you. If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. Uriange tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. And you must be Zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Garlemald. A pleasure. Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve as a mentor in those matters that trouble thee. I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Thancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Thou needst but ask. To a new island we go. <laughs> new dungeon already. Damn. Okay. Well, at least we did our expert today. How many? What's my currency looking like? God damn it, man. Only 307. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I've just been robbed. That was supposed to be 90 points. I guess that's what they've done. Interesting. It 
still gives you more. Just well, this gives you 50, so this is what it should be. That's not too far. Basically, I've got to catch up two patches. Two patches to be ready for Dawn Trail. Each patch is about four hours long. So I've got about eight hours worth of content still to get through. lucky about that. Because I have a lot to do in this in very little time. Raphalos. Interesting. Raffles man is cool. Are you doing the fight now? Oh, come on, stop doing that. Do the Final Fantasy 16 event, Devastator. That's the one you really want to do right now. Because once that's gone, it's gone. And you won't be able to get the tool from now. is that?
need to be up to level 50 to be able to start it. But that's about it, it starts it all up. When you go to uh, come out of teleport, uh, it's on your right hand side. Oh shit! Nah. I was out of that. Yes, buddy? Uh, not yet. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 event. It's going on right now in Ulda. Summoner. They are just amazing when it comes to uh, out of control. Stop him by. What server are you playing on, Devastator? What, like a data center? Light or Chaos?
Devastus. How are you finding 14 Day Devastator? Surprising to no one is Kes Banter. Hopefully you're on the light server. And not Chaos. Actually, you might be on an NA server entirely, right? That would make more sense.
Let's go. This is Final Fantasy fourteen. Much obliged for clearing the way. We'll get to work at once. Filling these up will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. I ain't getting chewed to chum by some ether bloated bugger. <laughs> um, I haven't seen it yet, but I know oh, of it. Boy. Where were you planning on putting these to use? We could deliver them by airship, see? Provided it ain't too far. We would need them transported to Galen, to the Tower of Babel. That's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. Tell you what, we'll send them over with the scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. I'll make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this lot through the snow. You have our thanks. We shall not forget your generosity. It's about game preservation, from what I saw from the byline. But I'm going to make a short video after the stream. Well, first I'm going to eat and then make a. Everything short video. seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say he would have been fine without me. Why would you say such a thing? You were not bound by contract or the threat of force. And you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. Yet you must be bound by something to speak thus. What is it? What binds me? Hmm. A belief, I suppose. Born of our shared struggles. No matter where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. I trust them, in short. Trite though it may sound. Trust. remember the word. How long has it been since last I used it? It had no place in my dealings. 
Not with other voids and, and certainly not with Xenos. Not even in the time before darkness engulfed the world. Full often did memoriates betray their own. Corrupted by the very power they wielded. You could trust no one but yourself. Alone we fought. And alone we fell. I wouldn't know how to trust. Is there some trick to it? <laughs> Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. Absolutely fine. I confess I thought thou mightst have more words of counsel to offer. Oh, she'll soon get the hang of it, even without my help. After our work here is done, I'll see myself back to the shadows. But before that, I take it you've heard as well. Indeed. The client seeketh Archons, and twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality make us prime candidates. Well, assuming we take on the request, I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down, hmm? <laughs> With that, folks, I am going to call it there because I am extremely hungry. I haven't eaten yet, and it is almost nine o'clock. So, thanks so much for hanging out. For those that did join me tonight, I appreciate it. And yeah, we'll probably do a few more streams of this to try and catch up. And uh, I'll see you all on Tuesday, unless you uh, join my other channel on a Monday. Right, that's it. I'm out. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>